Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to go over three worked examples to show you how to do problems involving measuring current and voltage. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question one says to complete the circuit diagram to show the correct use of ammeters and voltmeters in this circuit. Well, notice we've got a 24 volt battery, we've got a switch, a motor, variable resistor, and then three unknown components. Well, if we look at this one over here, it's next to the variable resistor, and in order to insert it there, you need to break the circuit. So this one is in fact an ammeter. If we look at this one now, notice that it is in parallel with the motor, so this is in fact a voltmeter, because remember, voltmeters need to be in parallel with the component that you want to measure the voltage across. And lastly, if we look at this one, you'll notice the circuit has not been broken, it's actually in parallel with this battery here, or with this whole branch here. So this is actually a voltmeter as well that would actually measure the voltage across the battery. Question two says to redraw the circuit to show how to measure the current through the variable resistor and voltage across both the variable resistor and lamp. So we've got a 12 volt battery, a variable resistor and a lamp there, and we need to show how to measure the current through this variable resistor and the voltage across the variable resistor and the voltage across a lamp. So we need one ammeter and two voltmeters in this circuit when we redraw it. So if I was to redraw this, I would have the ammeter in series with the variable resistor there to measure the current passing through it. You could also put it at the other side over here. And in order to measure the voltage across both of these components, I would connect a voltmeter in parallel there and a voltmeter in parallel there. Now you could label these as V1 and V2 if you wanted to make them different because they're measuring different things, but just having them as V just now is good enough for this example as we don't need to do anything with them. Lastly, question three says to redraw the circuit to show how ammeters and voltmeters can be connected to measure the current through each of the two components and the voltage across them. So by the two components, they mean the resistor and the motor, even though we've got a battery here as well. So the battery is 12 volts and we've got an eight ohm resistor and a 24 ohm motor. So here we need to measure the current current through each of these components and the voltage across them. So if we were to redraw this, we need to have an ammeter in series with both of these components and a voltmeter across both of these components in parallel. So looking at the eight ohm resistor first, if I was to redraw this, I could put my ammeter in here or I could put it above the resistor there. If we were then to connect the voltmeter, we would need it in parallel. So I'm gonna draw it to the right of it like this. And we would then do the exact same for the motor. So we would put the ammeter next to the motor in series and then we would put the voltmeter in parallel with the motor. Again, what we could do here is label the ammeters and the voltmeters to be A1, A2, and V1 and V2, just to make them different, but it doesn't really matter for this example. And as I said earlier, equally you could have the ammeters placed above the components, and we could also have the voltmeters drawn out to the left instead. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video one of these, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.